everybody. Um, I just wanted to make a video on a lightsaber that I made for a class project. Um, we were given $20 uh, to make go out and find materials and you know different items that we could use to make a lightsaber. So um, I went through the trash <laughs> or the dumpster in, uh, out behind my apartment building and I ended up finding some legs from a Guitar Hero drum kit. Uh, so I brought up the whole drum kit up to my apartment and took the legs apart and took all the buttons off and kept everything that I needed. And I ended up making this. This is the hilt for the, uh, I think it's called a hilt. I'm not really a big Star Wars fan, sorry. <laughs> But um, this is the uh, or the uh, the handle for the lightsaber, and it uses or I wrapped it with um, like some electrical tape here, black electrical tape, and some foil tape to make it look more like a lightsaber design. Uh, these black parts here are the clamps from the rock band kit or the Guitar Hero drum kit. I don't know which was which. I think it was Guitar Hero. Um, and then there was start and select buttons here. So I just glued that onto the onto there. And then this was painted with um, some silicone paint. So the, that they were painted blue, and then uh, this little button here—that's the end of a push pin. So that's a push pin. I just cut it, cut the end off, so it was a yellow push pin, obviously, and then a green push pin down here. And uh, I used um, a, a baseball bat that I found from Walmart. It was like a Nerf baseball bat. And I slid the grip up here. And then the grip kind of broke when I was putting it on. So I wrapped it with electrical tape. So there's a lot of tape in this thing. Uh, but in between the grip and the, uh, the other piece of the leg that this clamps onto, is a flashlight so built into there and underneath this other button pad is the uh, the X triangle box and whatever square uh, button pad from Guitar Hero and so there's a flashlight under here push that and it lights up push that again and it shuts off so all the other buttons don't really do anything, it's just decoration. But another thing that I got from Walmart is um, this bubble tube. And there were, uh, it was filled with bubble stuff and a bubble wand. And there were, I ended up buying two of them. And the tubes look like this. So I cut it in half. So I had this on one end and this on the other, but it wasn't quite long enough, so I attached them together. And there's already a piece that threads in. So I glued that in here using some epoxy putty. And then that just screws into place. And there you have it. There's a lightsaber that lights up. And I'm pretty happy with it for the amount of money. I only spent like, I don't know, 13 bucks. The, the grip for the baseball bat was about 7. Um, I just threw a baseball bat and a ball that came with it. And the duct tape was about 4 bucks. And then this was a dollar each for the bubble stuff. <coughs> But if anybody has any idea or any other idea on how to make the uh, 
the beam in here lighter or brighter on the flashlight beam then uh, just let me know because I'll shut off the lights so you can see what it looks like so it's not too bad if I point it at the camera but if, I point, if I'm holding it like this it's not that bright shut the blinds So it's kind of cool for what it is. Turn the light on again so you can see me. Uh, but if anybody else has any idea on how to make that beam lighter, then just let me know. And I'd really appreciate it. Um, I don't want to have to spend too much money because, like I said, we were doing a budget of 20. So, uh, you know, it's got to be cheap. Uh, but thanks and I hope you like the video and my saber.